All right. So, Sunday night game is over and done with. Uh, the Dolphins lost. We all know this. We all understand it. Let's move past it. Get over it, damn it. Why can't you? I have you. Gee, God. Anyway. To be honest, I actually don't feel that bad about the whole loss. I don't, and I don't think uh, you should either. I don't think any Dolphin fan should be, to be honest. Uh... I think I think it's encouraging for both teams. Uh, just, let's just get the Eagles side out the way. You know, I'll do their side first. Uh, they should be good just because they sort of got back to their form of football, Philly football. Of yes, you got the dynamic weapons you could pass to and whatnot, but the thing that y'all stuck y'all hat on was running the ball, being really dominant, being really. You know, like, y'all got, it's like, beefy boys doing beefy men things. You got a big-ass line on both sides, and that's what y'all do. That's why, that's why the Philly shove, the brotherly shove, the tush push, whatever, that's why it works. It's because you got big dudes like that. So guess what? That's what you should really get back to. All the other stuff will come in place. Jalen Hurts running. DeAndre Swift juking AI style on mug just, just I like he got a killer first step. That step will have you just like oh ankle destroy. It's crazy. But to me that sets up where you could throw it to Smith and you could throw it to Brown. And then like even throwing it but throwing it to Goddard for like the short change type stuff sets up those two as well. So that's why that's why like them trying to do the passing thing. I get, I felt like it was almost like trying to show like, yo, Jalen Hurts, that's who, like who he was last year. Like we gonna prove, and it's like sometimes when you do that, it's like nah, you doing too much. Just slow it down or whatever. But the team sort of got back to that. The defense sort of got back to that. I figured I was like once Slay was playing, I was like uh, Davis played, but Carter didn't play. But they still had enough monsters up front. It doesn't matter, and that's why I think they should be optimistic. Us, Dolphins. I like we lost and look the pessimistic side, the bad side, is that this is the second time that we played an actual legit team and we couldn't do nothing with them. We sort of played against another team that is a lot more physical and we couldn't handle it. Um maybe not handling it is the wrong word, but I was like we got beat. I don't want to say handling it. Um but at the same time, I was like, I feel like the Bills are sort of a different case because we play them so much that it's like we all know each other in Tennessee, so we kind of like we're going to get them in the next game. That's how I feel. The Eagles, I felt like, was a, like a real test, and I was like, I think we're a physical. I mean, I think we're a finesse team, and we played against a physical team, um, and that's normally sort of how the how it goes. I feel like the way that the game played. So I was like, so I said, I said in my preview of it that to me this game was going to be whichever defense sort of won the battle, um, because I I was like because I was like if we got up on them, it's going to be a hell of a lot harder of them trying to make up fourteen points than us making up fourteen points. Funny enough, that's sort of how the game started, where they was up on us. But at the same time, we got we really got back within the game. Um, and that's sort of how the game went by of just, like, the defense. They both were stopping each other from running. Don't get me wrong. You was able to get some play. Like, first half, really nothing. But second half, both teams was able to run it and get some, con like, consistent yard for a while. But nobody was dominant. Um and to be honest, I was like, our defense was really playing them really well. And I was like, and you don't want to you don't want to say or blame anything on like the fact that we had injury, but we did. I was like, we already had our center not there, so it was like whatever, cool. But then we lost our guard, so therefore, once that happens, I was like, against this Eagles defensive line, you sort of need your offensive line there. Armstead had to been there, so we're already down like. It was like two, then it was three, so there's so that's already that case. Um, 
also I think uh um uh Armstead I can't I can never get his name right but the running back behind Mostert there's a big difference between him and A Chain. They I was like there is. Uh, I felt like when he got it into the game, he was going. He went right into the defense every time that he got the ball. Some of those, some of those were they just crowded the area. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to put it all on him, but a lot of his stuff where it was just like, it's like, damn, he just went right into that big ass behemoth. You like five seven, dude. Um, I was like Jalen Waddle had back spasms, so I was like, he was in and out, so he wasn't being as full of effective even if he was there. Uh, I'll say that for I was like, we're doing pessimism side. And was doing it and didn't have a Xavier Howard, which I felt like would have helped against AJ Brown. Cause there was a couple of those where you could just tell that those inexperienced corner was just nothing for them. And we're getting Jalen Ramsey back, but he ends up been there for a bit. I think also uh, David Long was he got knocked out the game. That changed. I was like, I feel like that changed everything because he was able to impact on the blitzing and stuff, and he was and he was able to move around. That kept Jalen like flustered, and that took uh, Van Grinkle away from being a pass rusher. Cause I felt like we was doing the right job with Chubb and Wilkins and Phillips coming back and Grinkle that that and Long that that helped out our DBs a lot. But once that had happened, he had to basically be coverage along with everything there. Then I was like, it was it was a wrap at that time. The line, their line is really good. And beefy to stop our, to stop the pass rush like that. So, they 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 just out physical us, especially like you've seen that in that fourth quarter when, you know, once once they were just doing like the brotherly shove. But even but, but even that because I was like, of course when it gets there, it's really hard to beat them there. But that wasn't really the problem. They just couldn't stop them before that and stopped. They just it's just like it was just like a couple yards too much and they stopped him but they just couldn't force him to punt. And of course, Tua threw the interception. And I'm not gonna lie, there was a couple times where I was it looked Tua I was like that interception that he got, yes the two uh players ran the same route that's allowed Darius Slate to sort of be over there. And sort of the way that it was ran. But I'm not going to lie. There was a couple of times where I was like, Tua just kept staring down dudes a while. And I'm like, I'm like, like, I felt like if he would, like, if he would have been able to move a little, like, if he would have just, like, took his eyes off of it instead of having a predetermined notion of going that way. I feel like he would have looked. He had all that running room. And, of course, yes, I'm doing a little hindsight. I'm doing a little Monday morning quarterback thing where I'm like, if he would have just seen, like, how I seen on the replay. Like, no, I was like, yes, I know I'm doing that. But I'm saying, but I guess in my head, I'm like, if he would have just, if he would have been able to scan the field, because they're all coming pressure here anyway. So you would think that he would sort of, like, move out of Dodge way, I mean, out of the way, and just be like, oh, snap, I got all this terrain to try to, you know, run or whatever. But he threw an interception, and out pretty much game after that. Thought we might get one chance, but we didn't. We didn't. There was no one chance. Uh, yeah. So, optimistic side. I mean, well, the pessimistic is that, I was like, they both link up here, is that Tyree Hill dropped that pass that would have gave us the touchdown. Instead, we got nothing because we also went on the fourth down. And I'm not going to lie, this one, this is sort of the time where I understand the analysts will be like, go ahead and go for it. But I feel like in a, to me, this is the type of game where I'm like, no, this is a game basically of take the points, don't cause turnovers. That's I like this is the type of team you played at it with. If it was like the Rams, oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Because I know the type of game that they're playing where they're up and down, fast pace, stuff like that. You go ahead and play them. But I like like if we play like for instance, uh we play the Ravens, take the points. Take the point, because I'm like, you ain't playing with that defense. That, that's, that's how I see it. I feel like certain games, you like that. This one, I was like, take the point. They didn't. We I was like, we failed to get the uh, – but Tyreek Hill didn't get the pass. And um, to me, that does change the game, because even though on the next play, which we did, get a turnover for an interception and took it to the house, that's awesome. But imagine if we would have got the play by Hill – and yes, maybe that doesn't necessarily happen on defense, but that doesn't mean that we wasn't maybe do. You never know how these if, ands, and buts are gonna happen. 
But to my head, I'm like, you scored a touchdown, and then your defense had the momentum. Now they over here like, oh snap, we got to score two that they not caught that they they won't call something else that causes a turnover or something like that. But also too, that sort of goes with the tip for tat where it's like now you're starting to be up on Philly, and you're like, yo, we got the momentum. Y'all could probably run, but we could pass. You know, it changes the dynamic of the game. But once that sort of happens, it sort of builds on their side. Uh, optimistic, uh, another one is Sandra Wilson coming out here and not only playing, but he playing. First, it took me a while to realize that was him. I was like, man, he got a tan. I ain't recognize him at all. But uh, also, too, like he got a whole bunch of tasks compared to when he was with the Cowboys. I'm saying it's been a while since I've seen him. But he was over here making hella catches, toe taps, and everything. And I was like, oh, damn. I was like, I was like, he he gives us he gives us a different receiver than Barrios. Like Barrios is solid and Barrios is like shifting. I was like, you know, get the ball in his hand. I was like, he could do some things. He's not Tyreek Hill, but he can make a play and get down the field. Whatever. But Cedric Wilson, I was like, he's just so fast and also big and he has like the jump radius. I'm like, oh man. I was like, that's what that's what we we need is like that kind of athleticism. Ty, Tyreek and Waddle is like this kind of athleticism. He kinda of like this one over here. And Jay Claypool had like the, the jersey on, but he wasn't in that mug. He could give us a different type of athleticism. I just don't know if we're gonna really ever use him. Um, we was able to start running the ball once. I was like, yes, Reddick was out during a lot of those plays, but once we was able to get on the outside, and I think that has to do with our line being banged up and, and that way. But we was able to get some run play. So guess what? A little bravo for us. Uh, our pass rush. If we get mostly everybody healthy. That's a real problem because, like, if you get Ramsey back and Howard back, that at least if one of them gets hurt, you got the other one. But if you got both of them, I, I was like, what, well, I was like, what you do then? We, I was like, I think, I think with the run, we're still a little bit eh on that one. I'm not going to lie. But I'm like, you're not going to be faced. I mean, yes, we're going to run into, you know, especially making the playoffs, you're going to run into more people that are able to run the ball. But you're not going to match up too many against the people that got the eagle kind of line. But also, if you got, like, basically five pass rushers, you can sort of get away with the run, especially in a lot of cases where, we're probably going to have the ball. We're going to be able to pass. We're going to be able to get up on you. We're going to be able to figure out some things. Don't get me wrong. It's sort of backfiring in this game. But with the amount of energy we had, it we were close in a way that, like, yeah, you know, we need to figure out once you play against tough teams like this. But you can't totally shit on the whole game plan. We was we were really there to the end. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I was like, I, I was like, I feel like there was, I was like, that that was a misplay because I was like, they were like, you, we held Tyreek Hill low on yard. And they're like, not really. He really had like three catches that he dropped that would have basically had him at like 120 yards. So you didn't really stop him. He, he sort of like, he sort of like effed himself. Um, yeah, no, I feel, I was like, I feel good about the game. I was like, I mean, you don't want to lose. But when it's like that, it's, uh, it's like, nah, we were right there. We should have had him. I feel a little bit old better about that. I'm just saying. Anyway, that's just my recap, my little thought process of the game. Uh, my bad and good of the game. You know, I was like, uh, what is your bad or good with the game? Um, you have any other thought process you think so where we could be better at or what well, we did pretty fine against the Eagles? Let me know. I uh, like the video. I appreciate it. Thanks. If not, hey, maybe next time. But until then, till next game.